If you've attended any veterans' events over the past several years, then you've seen or even met Lou Lartigue. The retired lieutenant colonel has made veterans and issues facing veterans his work. Mobile is un and Baldwin County, the Bay Area, is unbelievable uh, when it comes to uh, supporting veterans. And Lartigue has been a driving force in making sure that happens. Since 2009, he's led the efforts of the South Alabama Veterans Council, which makes sure issues facing veterans remain at the forefront. I think we've had a big impact on the on the community. Uh, we do a number of events at the battleship uh, for the community, uh, not just ourselves, and we're very involved in um, different activities that include the community, not just the veterans. Right. Those activities include a grant fund where the council gives funds to other veterans groups. More recently, Lartigue and the council were behind efforts to support the embattled commissioner of the Alabama Department of Veterans Affairs. His interest in veterans affairs, as you might imagine, started early. I had a Boy Scout master who was a World War II vet and uh, he taught us drilling ceremonies. We did that for 15 minutes every Boy Scout meeting. Then off to college and ROTC at Southern Miss, joining the Army as a second lieutenant. Then it was off to Vietnam. I had a, a wife and a son, <clears throat> and I had a daughter while I was uh, born here in Mobile while I was uh, in Vietnam. So um, it, was, uh, it was a very growth experience. Um, lost some friends, but uh, uh, I, I got a lot out of it. His career saw stints with the 82nd Airborne, tours in Europe and Hawaii, and after 20 years, retirement from the Army as a lieutenant colonel. He would spend the next 20 working for a defense contractor in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Lartigue and his family moved back to Mobile in 2005, where he remains retired, but only in one sense of the word. I don't, I don't have a paying job. <laughs> But that doesn't mean he isn't busy. Soon, Lartigue will transition out of his role as president of the South Alabama Veterans Council, and we wish him well. And for his many years of dedicated service, we're proud to recognize him for serving those who serve. Bill Riles, WKRG News 5.